Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. Winston and I made it up north to our campsite. Pretty quiet up here. Um, I found a lovely spot with not too many neighbors. It looks like it was pretty muddy here recently because of the rain, but I had no problems getting in. My vehicle is nice and light and it'll be drying up over the next couple days. So I'm really stoked about my spot. And look, I put up my awning. I'm finally using it again, you guys, um, because I need to, I want to, I want the practice, and I love it. So we're going to resume our Life at Camp series that I started in the spring before I um, went on my big summer trip and show you what we're up to and what our campsite looks like. I even have a little hack for you, a zipper hack if your zipper ever gets stuck, because that happened to me on my awning. But anyways, like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Welcome. Let's get right into it. We just arrived to our campsite for the next couple nights. I actually think I'm going to put up my awning. It's really, really nice out, like only 71 degrees. But um, yeah, I'm going to put up my awning so we have some nice shade and just make it nice and cozy because I don't plan on leaving, um, you know, this spot until Friday. So, and I need more practice putting up my awning, let's be honest. We are mostly set up. I got the awning up. Um, definitely sweating a little bit, but I did manage to do it by myself once again. Um, the zipper was stuck, but if you use a little bit of bar soap on a zipper that's stuck, it will unzip or zip right up, which is exactly what happened. Hi. So we are, um, I'm just going to put on some sports radio, hang out, enjoy this absolutely glorious afternoon. down. Um, so the sun is in the west, so I <laughs> I put a bamboo mat on the ground, but then I also hung one from my awning just for like a little bit of additional shade. Um, I clipped it with my binder clips and just my little clips from the dollar store, but and I put some clips on the bottom, but it's not enough to weigh it down. So I actually think I'm just going to tie it down with one of my extra stakes. So I have just a little more shade when um, the sun goes down in the west. Problem solved. I put stakes through the clips on the bottom of my bamboo mat. So now it's not going anywhere. <laughs> and I have some additional shade. I feel a little bit brilliant by doing that. Just some, just a cheapy bamboo mat, clips, stakes, rubber mallet. That's all I needed. Pretty dope. Yeah, that's gonna work out real nice. Winston likes to have the extra shade as well because he doesn't like the sun in his eyes. <laughs> we only have one neighbor that's kind of close by, but still pretty private. Winston has plenty of space to roam around where I'm not worried about uh, other people or dogs. So, of course, he stays right near camp, but we also have this shade from these trees, which is great. Oh, and the clouds are coming out. What do you think, kid? Looks pretty dope, huh? We have a pretty cool setup. Hey. It truly is a lovely, lovely day. We have these trees in front of us. Beautiful clouds kind of coming and going. The sky is so blue today. I did take out my um, toilet. I just set it right over here. Um, I might honestly just use it there because like literally nobody's around me and I have a lot of privacy. So um, I'm not going to put up my toilet tent because I put up my awning and I can use my toilet right in my van too. But, um, hi Bubba. But I'm really liking my fridge right there. Um, I feel like it opened up so much more floor space for me in my van. So I look forward to um, enjoying it tonight when we relax. But um, yeah, just a slight breeze that's making it absolutely beautiful out right now. What do you think, kid? Are you happy? <laughs> Good boy. Post-birthday trip, huh? Because you're 11? Good boy. You're so handsome. Are you mommy's handsome? I love you so much. So I'm just, I'm so happy to be here with my kiddo. 
So these are my dollar store clips that I use to just clip this bamboo mat to my awning. And then I also use binder clips. I use binder clips for a lot of things. They're super versatile and inexpensive. So this is what it looks like on the outside of my awning. Oh, I'm so glad I put on my awning again. And it makes it just feel like so much more homey, to be honest with you. Right now, Winston and I are sharing some carrots. So he's like, Mom, where's my carrots? <laughs> you like carrots, huh, bub? Good boy. I put out my Blue Eddy solar panels since we're getting lots of nice, clear sun. And I have it going through my front door, I, or my passenger door. I don't have my door, like, completely shut on the cord. Um, I can also put it through the window, but it's just through the door right now um, due to the cord length. But we'll get a few more hours of sun. I mean, my Blue Eddy, it's still at, like, 80% but while I have the ability to get it charged up with my solar I'm definitely going to do so <sighs> you guys look look what I just learned and I I'm embarrassed I'm embarrassed but I, I'm gonna show you because somebody else might not know this <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I've literally had a Dodge Grand Caravan for two years and I just learned this. So this, this flap always bothers me and it's necessary because as you can see, it's number four for my sew and go. So you have to have the, the flap to bring your seats down, but it always like bothered me, right? Cause it's always just like hanging here. I literally just realized that there's a freaking Velcro thing. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, Amanda. I just learned that. <sighs> you know, I've always, I guess it's because I've always had stuff like sitting up against this seat. And so I just took out um, my little storage thing and I was going to put my rock pals over here. And I was like, what is that circle thing? Oh my God. It's for the Velcro. Oh, Amanda. <laughs> Oh, I crack myself up. So next on my list since I got here is um, I'm going to spray down my engine bay with the Grandpa Gus's uh, mouse repellent. So it's just peppermint oil, cinnamon oil, and uh, a sodium sulfate ingredient. So just to keep the mice out and away, I did have some mice in my engine bay. Uh, in Flagstaff when I went in the spring. So going to make sure that I spray in my engine bay and around it to keep the little critters out. I highly recommend this. My friend Eddie uh, taught me about it. So you can also get little packets, but definitely want to have some of this on hand. I have the van all set up for the evening. Um, my back pillow goes against my driver's seat, and that's where I sit and hang out. It's literally the most comfortable pillow ever. Uh, Amazon, it's on my in my Amazon list in the description of each video, just like everything else in my van. I put up my black curtain up front, and um, I actually have my bug nets up on my front windows so I can keep my windows cracked a couple inches tonight because it'll be like 59 degrees so it's going to be perfect sleeping weather but I got us all set up and um wow look at that it kind of looks like I have like a wall out there because of my bamboo thing with my awning hey kid you look happy so yeah I have my um weapons ready <laughs> for the night um and I always make sure that I'm, when I'm alone, I'm in my van by the time the sun goes down and I get everything, you know, prepared during the day. So just continuing to listen to my radio. The baseball game comes on at 640. So that is my next step. <laughs> we just went on a walk. So we're winding down for the evening as the sun goes down. There is a chill in the air and it's finally starting to feel like fall. Oh my God, thank goodness. I am one who personally hates the summer. So I am very excited that the um, the cooler temperatures are hitting us and it's chilly outside. Oh my gosh. 
I'm just so stoked. But in the meantime, um, thank you guys so much for watching this Life at Camp episode. The baseball game comes on here shortly. So like I said, we're just winding down and relaxing for the evening. When I camp, I kind of come up when the sun comes up and go down when the sun goes down. So thank you again for being here with us on all of our adventures and we will see you next time.